Hola y bienvenidos a otra lección. In this lesson, we're going to tackle a big thing. We're going to hit the command form. And this lesson may seem kind of robust. That's because, well, a lot of you had commands in Spanish 1. Some of you didn't. So I, I need to give a little bit of a review of commands. And instead of splitting it into two lessons, I'm just going to put the whole enchilada in one lesson. So we're going to talk about the command form, what it is. But in this chapter, know that we're going to have a focus on the irregular affirmative to commands. So let's start with commands. Do we have a different conjugation for commands in English? Yes, we do. Let's say, for example, I'm talking to my daughter and I say, Hey, daughter, you clean your room. She said, Dad, thanks for noticing. But if I turn to her and say, clean your room, uh, she'll start complaining and say, no, I don't want to. That's because she recognizes that in, in English, when you take out that subject pronoun, when you take out the you, it, tings, it changes it to a command. Once again, you clean your room. Clean your room. Even though my intonation is the same, you take out that subject and people know it's a command. Okay, so in Spanish, instead of having something tricky or, or, or subtle like that, we just change the conjugations. We just have a new set of conjugations. So let's get right into what those conjugations are, and, uh, and we'll just go from there. Let's say, for example, um, lavar. Lavar is a good, simple AR verb. Wash the dishes, wash the car, wash your face. Okay. Now, we're going to do this yo, tu, el, e, usted table, and we're going to notice, though, that we don't typically give commands in the yo form and the nosotros form, and since in this class we focus on Latin American Spanish more than Spaniard Sp or Spain Spanish, we're going to skip the vosotros, so we're just going to skip those three for now. We'll just deal with tu, the tu form, the usted form, and the ustedes form. Okay. I'm telling somebody to wash their face. I will tell them, lava tu cara. And you might say, but señor, that looks just like the L.A. usted form. Yeah, pretty much. So what do we say on, in, in L.A. usted? <laughs> this is where it gets tricky. Lave. It goes over to the ER endings. So that would make sense in the EOS EOS ustedes. It would go to Laven. Laven los platos. Lave la cara. Uh, perdón. Lave el carro. Okay, so this goes to the ER endings. And this goes to what looks like L A usted. Well, yeah, just about. Like I said, in this chapter we're going to focus on the two form. So let's, let's look at something here. In, in Spanish, when we do commands, we've got affirmative commands, do this. And we've got negative commands, don't do this. To make things a little trickier for you, I'll let you know that in the two form, we've got two different conjugations for both of those. Well, here, check this out. In the two form, if you want to tell somebody, don't wash, you would say, no laves. Okay, now we can see the pattern. No laves, lave, laven. So really, this makes more sense. This makes more sense to focus on the negative. <laughs> focus on the negative. Something I don't recommend you do regularly in life. A little life lesson slipped in there. So laves, lave, laven. There's your pattern. The affirmative twos, actually I probably should have done that in green, where our affirmative two commands, that's where we have the strange one that looks like, that looks like the L.A. usted. Okay? Actually, to make things a little trickier, you're going to have to rewind and watch this one again. To make things trickier, instead of saying it looks like the L.A. usted form, let's say that it looks like the yo form. Let's say it looks like the yo form, that then we add the la usted ending. And the reason I say that is because pretty soon we're going to have some irregular negative commands, but we'll worry about those another day. Okay? Okay. For right now, for this lesson, I want you guys to see that there's an affirmative command, 
it switches over to those endings, and then we've got the negative command that goes like this. Okay, so let me give you some examples. Okay, one of our vocab words this chapter, this unit, cruzar, cruzar la calle. So if I want to tell my friend, cross the street, cross the street and walk for two blocks, I would tell him, you know what, I should do that in green because it's affirmative. Cruza la calle. Cruza la calle y camina dos cuadras. Now this is my friend, so this is still the two form. Okay, just because the S is gone. Okay, it's a command. Now if I want to tell him, don't cross the street, it would be no cruces la calle. No cruces, because the ES. Okay. Habla, habla con tu mamá. Make sure that, you know, your schedule is good, whatever. Habla con tu mamá. No hables con tus amigos about your schedule for next year. Habla con tu mamá. No hables con tus amigos. Okay, so that's a quick glance at what commands are and how they work. Of course, ERs and IRs. ERs and IRs will work similarly. For example, the verb comer. If you're talking to a friend, come. Come la comida, hijo. Come, eat. You're telling him not to eat? Well, that's the one that switches over to the other one. Oops. Come on. There we go. No comas. Come, no comas. Let's go back to the AR. Habla. No hables. Okay? That's a quick glance at it. Now I'm going to give, those of you that are my students, I'm going to give you um, uh, a review sheet also, and we're going to talk about it plenty in class. <sighs> now, here comes the tough spot. Here it comes, that's the quick review of stuff that maybe you did, maybe you didn't do in Spanish 1. Here comes the tough part. We've got a list of half dozen plus of these that are irregular affirmative to commands. So when you're telling somebody yes to do something, these are different in the yo form. Let's look at, um, oh, let's look at the, um, the first one. Let's look at tener. If you look at tener, remember how I said you take the yo form and then you add the other ending, you drop the o and add the other ending? Here's an example. Negative, no tengas. Okay, yo form tengo, you drop the o, you add the, the um, flipped conjugation ending. Again, we're not going to worry about these this chapter. So if you're getting confused and flustered, don't worry, just a glance at it. But when it's an affirmative to command, when we're telling them yes, then, yes have, it's simply then. That's all it is. We drop the go all together. So you take the yo form, tengo, and you drop the go. And it's like that with all, well, uh, I think, yeah. From what I can think of right now, it happens with all go verbs. Like salir. Salir means to leave or to go out. So if I'm telling somebody, get out, leave, go, I'll take the yo form, salgo, drop the, drop the, um, drop the yo, sal. Sal inmediatamente. Leave immediately. Um, what are some other go verbs? Poner. 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 To put her to place. Um, put your book under the table. Pon tu libro. Pon. Take the yo form. Pon. Okay, so these are the irregular affirmative two commands. So if you're lost with that other stuff, forget that for now. And just remember that when you're telling somebody to do something with one of these go verbs, you just drop the go, and that's the way you tell them to do it. Now, I can't, can't leave you here without showing you a little trick that uh, Senor Donaldson pointed out to me once upon a time. If you're a fan of Vin Diesel, here you go. Here's a way to remember the irregular twos. 
So, you've seen Vin Diesel movies. He's always got weapons and all that stuff. So this is how you remember them. Vin Diesel has been the one. Okay, those are your irregular affirmative two commands. Vin Diesel has ten weapon. Okay, Vin. You'd see normally it would be Vengo in the yo form. V. Digo. I tell. Sal. Salgo. I leave. Sal. Telling someone to leave. Now, as is irregular from the verb hacer. Hago. Haz la tarea. Haz tus que haceres. Hazlo. Do it. Okay, so that one's irregular. Goes to the Z. Ten from tengo. Ve. Well, that's another irregular. From that beloved verb ir to go. Ve. Ve a la biblioteca y habla. Okay. Ve. Go and boom. So if you're telling people to do something, come here. Say it. Tell it. Leave. Do. Make. Have. Go. Put. Those are our irregular affirmative to command. Now I'm trying to make this lesson as short as I can, so I won't spend much time on this. We will do our practice elsewhere, but I wanted to make this information available to you first. Okay. Um, those of you that are my students, you've got three three things to write from, from today's lesson. Here they are. Why don't you write, uh, write a sentence of um, saying something and then give a command at the end of the sentence. For example, and you can't use this one, um, Yo quiero el nuevo libro de Rick Riordan. Por favor, ve a la biblioteca para buscarlo. Okay, so two sentences. One saying what you want, second one giving somebody a command to do it. Actually, I should have made that more simple. Quiero, el, quiero un libro nuevo. Ve a la biblioteca. I want, it, I want the new book. Go to the library. Okay, um, affirmative two commands. We've got more information in the book, more information in class. I hope this was good enough of an introduction to get you started. We'll talk more about it in our next lesson. Buena suerte. Ciao.